y'all and welcome to Real Talk. And yeah, it's been a while, y'all. My bad. I've been busy. So to get right to the whole point of the segment, I just want to start out by saying thank y'all for sending in your questions. And I'm going to go to the top of the list because at the top of the list is the number one asked question. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the way. Question is, are you going to Daegu? Are you in Daegu? What's going on with Daegu? So here's the story, people. Uh, at USA's, I placed sixth in the 400. Not my best year. Sorry. But um, at the end of the day, there was really a seventh person. Senior Richards was a buy. She had the win from 2009. So there were seven individuals. Um, because we had so many people that were going to the world championships for the 4x4 relay, um, I also had some other obligations that came up. And due to that, I decided that I wouldn't take the opportunity to go to Daegu because I'm technically not in the spot to participate. I was a alternate to the alternates. So with that being said, I decided to pass my opportunity to go to Daegu. Um, just a personal choice. Uh, I hope they do well. I know they will. They have six amazing people, so they didn't really need the eighth man. So I just was in a place where that wasn't for me this year. So make it simple. I didn't go. So no, I'm not in Daegu. No, I'm not going and I'm not running. I did not make the team individually and I was an alternate relay alternate. So yeah. Takes care of that. I'm just going to start from the beginning and give y'all a general overall because I got some questions that kind of just are more general questions. Yes, my name is D.D. D. Trotter. That's D-E-E-D-E-E -E 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 Trotter. That is not my real name. That's not my legal name. I, I did say I would answer any questions. So my real name is Dehaysha. Yeah. Somebody told me that that sound real West Side Atlanta. So <laughs> I'm going to go with that. Um, yep, Dehaysha, that's what my mama named me. Thanks, mama. I am from hometown Decatur, Georgia. I was born in 29 Palms, California. But uh, I grew up in Atlanta from the time I was 10. So this is home to me. You know, this is what, this is, this is it. This is all I got. I'm 28, 28 years old. I don't like girls in that kind of way somebody wants to know if i was in the girls I, I like girls i don't like them like that though i like boys i pref i do the boy thing boys and girls yeah i i hope that answers your question i don't do the i don't do women like that um and somebody asked me if i'm in the older guys Older as in maybe a few years? Yes, older as in maybe could be my daddy. No, sorry. Not my thing. Um, single, yes. I'm not married. I'm not engaged. That was a prank that me and Hazel played on me. <laughs> and it, no, I'm not engaged. I'm not married. Somebody wants to know why. Um, I'm not at that point. I, I have a career right now. Uh, I'm just really not interested in the whole marriage thing. I, you know, I'll do a boo and a boyfriend, maybe something, nah, sometime. But no, nah, I'm a single, hey, I'm free spirit. I'm Sagittarius. So I just, yeah, I like to do me and I don't like no restrictions. So yeah, that's just kind of where I am. But I mean, I'll get married one day, maybe. Yeah, yikes. I don't know. Uh, maybe like a full-time committed boo or something i don't know yeah i'm not i'm not, I'm not feeling the marriage thing y'all sorry no um it's not i'm not disappointed at that at all no don't have kids those are my god kids the kids you see on the pictures on facebook stuff like that those are my god children i have four god children three girls and one boy so yeah those aren't my kids i know i love them like my own but they're not I appreciate that's a compliment because I mean I'm a good guy, mommy. Thank you. Um, this is a good one. So how did I get started in track and field in the pros? Well, 
be honest, it was not a goal. It was not a dream. It was not something I was even really interested in. Um, I didn't like track. Simple as that. Did not like track. Was not interested in doing it. And honestly, it just came to be one of those things that I kind of fell into. I always say my whole track career is kind of luck. Um, I went out and ran the 400. My first time I ran the 400 as an open individual, like for real, was um, my sophomore year in 2003. And um, that year I was SEC champion and NCAA runner-up. It's accident, y'all. I can't sit here and say I planned this my whole life. You know, I did not run races as a little teeny little baby bop. I didn't do the whole, I wasn't in the track. To me, it was too hot outside. I don't want to be out there from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I like indoor sports. I I didn't like it. It, didn't, it wasn't fun for me. So, no, I didn't have dreams of being some Olympic track and field pro star. That wasn't my dream at all. It happened while it was happening. I started to embrace it as it happened to me, not necessarily something I was going for. Really, all just accident. That's kind of how it happened. I just, that's, and then next thing you know, that's where I was. That's it. I don't have no special story. I dreamed it my whole life. I don't. It was just, oops. Yep. What are my thoughts on the 100 meter women's? world record and the records in the women's events all the way to the 10k <sighs> records 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 well to tell you the truth real talk i think the records are ridiculous i think they're untouchable i think if anybody can touch those records it is a going to be a very special day um those records were set in a time where drug testing was not the business so, be honest with you, I think a lot of the records are a little bit bogus. They probably need to come down. That's real talk. I don't think they're legitimate records. I don't care who stands behind them. Uh, the the person that asked this question said, the women looked like men from back in those days. And it's true. The woman who broke the 400-meter world record and who's the current 400-meter world record holder, she looks ridiculous, but... I mean, I I don't know. At this point, you can say, oh, they was on drugs, they was on this and on that, but the records still stand. So what's the point of complaining? I mean, either you going to give up and quit or you, I mean, I mean, that don't stop me. I don't care about that world record. I'm going to do what I do. I don't care. And I think everybody should have the same attitude. I mean, it's, they're, they're ridiculous. I don't, nobody's come within... Mere, mere, merely even close to those records. It's just ridiculous. So I, I think we should just all keep it moving. Drugs or no drugs. Shoot. That's just what. That's just how the game is. It's, it's not a good look, but that's what it is. What we can't go back in time. All they can do is move forward. Bogus? Possibly. Very much so. I don't care whose name is behind them. Very much so. Bogus. What percent of the track world do I think is on drugs? I don't know. Are people on drugs? Yes. Do I know who they are? No. Can we all assume? You do your own assumptions. Make your own assumptions. You know, I have a nonprofit. It's called Test Me I'm Clean. If people want to proclaim to be clean, that is your opportunity to do so. That's all I can do. I mean, you can go around pointing the finger all day. I don't know. People might be pointing the finger at me. You better turn it around, though, because it ain't me, but I'm just saying. We can assume all day long, but if nobody don't get caught, nobody don't get caught. But are people using drugs? Yes, every sport. Track and field? Yes. Bottom line. How many? I don't know. Somebody wants to know, why do I wear little panties on the track? <laughs> well, I have had the misfortune of having a, uh, I like to call it a wardrobe malfunction, at Tyson Invitational several years back, and it is uh, somewhat of a YouTube sensation, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, my cheeks came out, y'all, but I, that ain't my, that wasn't my fault. Adidas did that with that old little skanky uniform they gave me. That uniform was made for, like, I don't know, uh, some little nasty magazine or something. That, that uniform was inappropriate for track and field. And all I know is I was a victim. I was a victim. I was 
victimized. And now I'm the one that got this reputation for having my cheeks out on the track. Everybody got their cheeks out on the track. I'm not the only one with my cheeks out on the track. It's cheeks everywhere. Now, all I'm saying is this. Wardrobe malfunction. I hope that answered y'all question. Thank y'all for joining me for Real Talk. Someone told me recently, they said, how are you going to be a public figure if you hire from the public? So I'm not hiding. Anything you want to ask me, you let me know. Some of y'all have some inappropriate questions. Like, I know I said I would answer anything, but kids watch this stuff. I can't say certain things on here. That's ridiculous. You know? I enjoy talking with you guys. And like always, I'll be back with the more entertaining segment. And y'all stay tuned. Come back next week because it's going down. And you know what I'm going to say. Deuces.